welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We are creating a video today all about winter styling hacks. So this is definitely one of your favorite videos that we do every single season. So of course we had to bring out some more. We'll definitely link our other winter fall styling and fashion hack videos down below if you want to see some more of these kinds of videos. But this is a video where Callie and I, we don't really like the hacks where you take your favorite sweater and you turn them into leg warmers or something <laughs> like that. These are going to be hacks that are going to help you to look stylish and polished. Some of these hacks will also be to help you stay warm during the winter time. So definitely stay tuned because we've got some good ones for you. Yeah, and if you are new here, we hope that you will stick around. If you love all things fashion, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We make videos every Sunday and Thursday, and we would love to have you back. And also, follow us over on Instagram at Mommy's Makeup Moscato. For those of you who don't know, before living here in sunny Florida, I used to live in New York and Boston, Massachusetts for almost 10 years. So one of the tricks that I always made sure to incorporate during the winter time was really knowing what fabrics to really help keep me warm during the winter. And one of my favorite and most effective ones is wool. So wool is definitely a great fabric to use to help to keep you warm. It's a great also a layering piece. If you are someone though who finds wool to kind of be a little bit itchy, you can definitely wear some layering pieces underneath like a long sleeve tee or something in between the wool layer and your skin to kind of help to deal with that itchiness. But you can also have some other kinds of options. So merino wool is definitely a great alternative. It's lightweight. It's softer than regular wool. It also really helps to regulate your body temperature. Another great option is cashmere. So this sweater that I'm wearing is cashmere. It's a great high quality wool. It definitely will keep you seven to eight times warmer than regular wool. And also you're going to have so many different options when you are choosing wool, whether it's a scarf, a sweater, a jacket, even socks and mittens. So definitely stock up on your wool items because they will help to keep you toasty warm in the winter. If you've been watching our videos this fall and winter season, then you know that Christina and I have been loving relaxed denim. Relaxed denim has been all the rage these past few seasons. We're talking about things like straight cut jeans as well as boot cuts and flares. However, what can be a little bit challenging with these relaxed denim jeans or pants in the winter time is when you're trying to pair them with sweaters. So we want you to keep in mind this little rule that will really help you to make your outfits look great and it's all about balance. If your pants or jeans are going to be more of a relaxed, looser fit, then you're going to want to choose sweaters on top that are a little bit more fitted to the body, something that maybe just skims your curves slightly. So a more fitted style v-neck sweater would really look great with some boot cut or flare jeans or some straight leg jeans. However, if you're going to wear a very chunky knit sweater, maybe one of those loose fitting cowl knits sweaters or turtleneck sweaters with heavy chunkier fabric, then you really want to pair those bulkier items with some slim or skinny jeans on the bottom. So think about when you're creating these winter looks, balancing it out. Either go for looser on the bottom and more streamlined on top or tighter on the bottom and looser and chunkier sweaters on the top and you're really going to have a beautiful and balanced look for winter. If you've been watching our channel for a while, then you know Kelly and I love our button downs and you don't have to stop wearing those during the winter time. One of the tricks that I used to use when I used to live up north was I would just style a turtleneck underneath my button downs. So whether it was like a white button down or even a chambray shirt, I would just throw on a turtleneck underneath. It really helped to keep me warm. Plus it always gives this very chic and sophisticated look. And they're also so versatile. So you can style them with denim jeans. You can style them with skirts. You can even style them with dress pants. So by having this little trick, you're able to create numerous more outfits with some of your favorite fall pieces during the winter months. In the winter months, one of the mistakes that a lot of women make is they put aside all of their light colored items. So they put away those white jeans, white blouses, those pastel colors, and they feel like they can't wear them now that the weather has changed, the seasons have changed, and they're saving them for spring and summertime. However, you don't need to do that. If you are someone who loves pastels, loves their whites, loves their pinks like I do, you can definitely still use these pieces and winterize them a bit to really 
really make them work for the season. So what you want to do is you want to take those lighter pieces and pair them with some darker, deeper pieces. It's really going to make them winter appropriate. So if you have some beautiful white or pale pastel blouses, pair them with some darker denim on the bottom, maybe a medium to a darker wash and a nice pair of ankle boots or a shoe that's in a little bit of a richer brown cognac or black color is really going to help to keep it season appropriate. And if you want to bring out those white jeans or some really light denim, then pair those with tops that are darker. So think about those deep jewel tones or blacks or rich brown colors on top paired with your white or lighter denim. They're going to look beautiful and perfect for the season. A great way to stay warm when you are wearing a dresses during those cold winter months is to pair them with either a thick tight or some sort of legging underneath the dress in addition to some knee-high boots versus booties. Wearing those thicker tights and those knee-high boots will definitely protect your legs from those cold windy elements. This is also especially helpful if you're wearing a shorter winter dress. Definitely wanting to stay warm while still looking cute and stylish is for sure a must. And if it also happens to be a little bit of a wet kind of slushy type of day, you can easily swap out those uh, knee high boots for a pair of rain boots. They will definitely keep your feet warm and dry. So I'm sure you've all heard before that the heat escapes from the top of your head. So of course, we've all heard that you have to keep your head warm in the winter time. So of course you need to wear a hat. So for some of us, those little beanies and those little winter hats, they don't always work. I know for me, I find them adorable on other people. I feel like I look horrible in them. They squish my hair. They don't work with the shape of my face. So I am just not a fan of those hats. However, what I do love is a beautiful wool fedora. Wool fedoras can look very stylish, very chic, and they can do the same job of keeping your head warm so that you are overall warmer and cozier. So we're gonna share some of our favorites that we have recently found. I don't get to wear them as much as I would like here in Florida. However, I definitely travel with these whenever I go up north because they really do the trick and they also can allow you to enjoy your hairstyle but keep that warmth in your head and overall just really complement your outfit and look so sophisticated and stylish. If you are someone who feels like your winter outfits are a little bit in a rut, that you only tend to create outfits that have sweater and jeans together, well, this is a great little styling trick that you can use, and that's mixing different textures together. It's really such a fun and playful way to create winter outfits. It's also a great way to really create new looks that maybe you haven't thought of before. So you're able to take some delicate pieces, maybe like lace or silk, and kind of mix them up with maybe some more softer and cozy type of textures like wool or flannel, Sherpa, even cable net. And don't forget, you also have some very easy textures that you can also incorporate into the mix, such as leather, denim, and even a suede. So by experimenting and having fun, you can create numerous winter looks that are fun and stylish. In the winter time, it is all about layering. Layers, layers, layers. And when we use some thinner layers on top of each other, it helps to create warmth without adding a lot of bulk. So one of my favorite things to do is to add a sweater over a button-down top. Now this can be a button-down like a silky style blouse, it can be a cotton blouse, it can also be a button-down flannel style shirt. And when you put a sweater, either a crew neck style sweater or a v-neck style sweater, on top of that, you are really creating an extra layer of warmth, but also an extra layer of style, because of course, adding these different elements really creates interest to an outfit. So you can do two different things here. You can actually either leave that underneath piece untucked and create more of a casual, carefree look. This looks really cute with some jeans, maybe some distressed denim and some ankle boots, or you can tuck in that underneath layer and give it a more streamlined and dressier look. This would also work very well for casual days at the office. So you can take a beautiful blouse and just throw a nice sweater on top of it. Of course, this is going to look best with a more streamlined sweater. So don't think about those overly chunky, bulky sweaters. Think more about those beautiful 
sweaters that just kind of skim the body. They're gonna look the best layered on top of these button-down blouses. It's gonna be a great look and it's really gonna help to keep you warm. A great styling piece for the winter time to not only look sophisticated and chic, but to also help to keep you warm is by creating outfits that incorporate a blazer. So blazers are not only for the office and for the workplace, but they can also really create cute and stylish winter outfits. So you can definitely style blazers with a cute turtleneck or a button down shirt. You can even style them with a, a sweater. So sometimes when it's extra super cold, I would take a button down, put a thin little sweater underneath and then throw a blazer on top of it. So by having all of these different elements, you're able to create layering. And if it's super duper cold out, you're also going to have your winter coat on top. So you're going to be warm, but you're also going to be super stylish during this winter season. So one of the first things that people are going to see on you during the winter time is probably your outerwear, your winter coat. And winter coats, they can tend to get a little bit boring and mundane. A lot of times we want something that is, you know, very practical, very neutral. So we're getting kind of lost in these browns and blacks and neutral coats, which of course are good to own. However, if you are able to add a statement coat to your wardrobe, this can be a really fun way to show some personality and self-expression. So I recently picked one up. I just ordered it. I'm going on a trip to Colorado where I can't wait to wear my new winter coat. And I picked up this beautiful pink shade because of course that is my favorite color. So if you have a favorite color or maybe a pattern that you really enjoy, adding a statement coat to your wardrobe is just a fun way to enjoy fashion a little bit more. And if you can get it on a great sale like I did, even more of a bonus. So if this one is still available, I will definitely make sure to link it below for you, but I think that statement coats are a great little thing to add to your winter look to really enjoy fashion, and after all, you're going to be wearing it a lot in those cold days, so you might as well enjoy it. Okay, ladies, so hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you have any winter hacks that you'd love to share, definitely leave a comment down below. We would love to hear from you.